Hey there, friends. So I've been playing Stardew Valley without leaving the farm. I do leave once a year to just pick up supplies. But other than that, I just waste away on my farm, never going into town and never speaking to anyone. Why do I do this, you ask? Because I hate myself. And we're back with another year. Unfortunately, I bought a load of beans and loads of you in the comments let me know. Honestly, I can't wait until next episode when Kevin realizes you can't walk through the beans so he can't plant them in his greenhouse efficiently. It's as if just winging it and having no prep work whatsoever is a bad idea. So I'm just gonna do the same thing again where I don't do any research and hope that I somehow plant them right by luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with this. This isn't guesswork. This is great work. If I know one thing about the internet, it's that no one is particular about anything. Oh god, <laughs> I still have 90 left. <laughs> well, I can't get anything else for the rest of the year. Just plant the rest outside, you know, as God intended. I just usually don't like to be on his side. So to make a quality sprinkler I need iron gold and refined quartz I think I can actually do that I've got a little bit of gold I've got a little bit of iron and I have got a lot of quartz from all the fishing I've been doing I've accepted capitalism I am on the Joja Mart side now I have no interest in helping the community center it's too much brain power and I don't have much to spare oh yeah it's fruit that goes in these I can't even remember how to use my own equipment my house is getting a little bit cramped but in his defense he's never seen anyone else's house really so he doesn't know anything about interior design and I've got my shed which honestly I'm gonna have to consult past Kevin here because I can't remember why I bought this I want a shed for 15,000 god damn it past Kevin why didn't you give more context I hate you I was just about to start planting these and then I realized if I do I won't be able to get through to plant the sprinklers oh I feel like I'm always moments away from disaster that's the meteor I worship by the way just in case you're wondering there's also an alien loose on the farm. His capsule's here. No idea where he is. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. It doesn't work. I, I have to place the sprinkler first. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter because they're not going to water till tomorrow. Oh my god. I'm a genius. Or am I stupid for not realizing it in the first place? No. I'm a genius. See you tomorrow, losers. <laughs> Sorry. Our products are not made with love on this farm. They're made for profit to fuel Joja Mart. I'm going to ruin this community. Label me as an outcast, will you? Just because I am one doesn't make it right. Oh, the sprinkler's done. You know what? I'll just go over. I have plenty of time. All that hubbub over nothing, huh? Me and the boys at 2 a.m. planting beans. <laughs> We're ready. And I'm just about making it home, I think. I think I'll make it to bed. Sleep for the night. Yes, 10 minutes to spare. Well, in reality, it's about a second. And look at all that cash. Got a bit from farming, foraging, made tons off the, the path that I sold. That's good. Now, do I use my last iron bar to make a sprinkler too? thinking it might be worth it unless I can get one piece of gold I might be able to get it by fishing <laughs> this could take a while I hope it doesn't or you know what that's probably gonna take me a while I'll knock down some trees in the meantime and clear out a path to the greenhouse because right now it's a mess gotta remember that those trees are important right I think those are my fruit trees so I don't want to knock them down I say that from experience by the way I've done it before but that was back in year one or two I believe when I was just a young a hermit who had no idea what was in store. I think I'm gonna store the seeds from the trees as well to make those um, snacks. You know, the, the bar snacks. You'd think at this point I'd have a better understanding of Stardew, but no. I get a notification every morning that <laughs> the spreading weeds have damaged your farm. I mean, at this point, it's just a forest. There's about 2% of the land used for farming. The rest is just forestry. I should definitely get a grant for that or something from the town that I'm actively working to destroy with that corporation. Ah, the field snack. Of course, that's what it's called. I can't believe I just got an achievement DIY. Craft 15 different items. How am I getting that? When, like, that isn't for this save. That is the entirety of playing this game, of which I've played a lot, despite it not looking like it. Okay, day seven. I think I'm going to commit to finding that treasure. So I spent the next few days fishing and let me tell you something, that treasure reel that I got had treasure coming in left and right. I couldn't handle how much treasure was being thrown at me. Unfortunately, no gold. And while you might call that a failure, what about this, hmm? Or this, hmm? Or this? <laughs> this is everything I've caught, including stuff I've never even seen, like the Elvis jewelry and the broken trident. Also got a diamond in there, that's noteworthy. 
and soggy newspaper, my favorite snack. That or insulation. Also, I didn't realize that those little bobbers actually broke. So, well, my treasure bobber's gone and the amount of treasure reduced dramatically once that was gone. <laughs> Got some geodes to crack open in town as well when I go in there on my once a year visit. I like I'm finding like diamond, elvis jewelry, broken trident, like there's some underwater kingdom that I'm stealing from here. If anyone looked over from the town, oh, there's Hermit just practicing his stabbing. <laughs> all right, let's get all of this sold and see how much I actually get. It better be a lot because that was legitimately around an hour of fishing. Oh my God, the sword that old man gave me does two to five damage. My new weapon does 15 to 26. I have never seen that item either. I wonder how rare it is. It feels like GTA, you know, when you're looking for a specific car and you can never find it. But then when you don't look for it, it's everywhere. Like I'm finding all this cool stuff by accident and I don't even need or want it. I almost on muscle memory started fishing again. But you know what? Just one for the road. Just one because we're going to get the gold this time. Nope. Feck it. I don't want gold anyway. I honestly kind of forgot why I even wanted it. Like I know it's the sprinklers, yeah, but it kind of lost its purpose after the first like 40 minutes or so. I did get a bit of iron though. I didn't actually even notice getting it, but I could make two of the normal sprinklers with it. And to be honest, I think that's worth it. The beans are not ready. So let me get some sleep in and see how much money we made today. What the hell was that? I think there's a Grand Prix in the village, but I never go to the events, so they just stopped inviting me. Okay, I am immensely disappointed. I honestly thought we'd be looking at like triple that number from fishing. I spent so long fishing. Well, you know what? It's it's a healthy amount of money, but Jesus, that was so much time. It felt like 12 real days. An explosion was heard in the night. No, that was just me getting angry about my fish. I guess a few day old fish that I just kept in my pockets isn't worth as much as I thought after all. Tomorrow we're holding the egg festival. Okay, well the explosion can't have been that serious then. Okay, let's try and figure out what that explosion was. I hope it was something on the farm because I can't go into town to inspect until the end of the year. I'm honestly surprised that whatever event it was managed to actually happen given that there is no space for anything on my farm. Aha, it must have been this washing up. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, they are actually bombs. Jesus, he's a machine. Whew. <laughs> that speed. I was like, ah, but no, this is my fishing box, which is empty. Wait, what the hell is that? No, that's, that's sea urchin. Okay. I think nothing interesting has happened. I feel like one of those ghost hunting shows when something very minor happens, like that just washed up there and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> just freaking out. Okay, it might be time to accept that nothing happened though and just move on with our lives. Oh my god, I was worried that I just chopped down one of my plants there. Why are my beans not ready? I thought they were 10 days. I'm going back to Pierre and I'm going to complain. I'm also going to stab him to death with my new weapon. Hooah! What? Why you been taking so long? I must not have started on day one. I must have played like a few days last time, right? I, it must be the case. I'll just sleep again and hope that sleep makes everything better. Aha, it did. It always does. Wait, no, that won't work. <laughs> God damn beans. So I need one space to actually get to them. I guess I could, I could put them here, right? And then I could, no, uh, <laughs> never mind. That will do, right? I think, because then I can access these from here, those from there, I'll go around here and go around this. I'm acting it all out, it's easier to visualize. But yeah, that seems fine. I'll just say to anyone that visits like, oh yeah, this is how grandpa used to do it. It's passed down generation to generation. Meanwhile, I haven't talked to the guy in decades. Didn't realize he was even still alive and I'm pretty sure he gave me this farm as a typo in his will. <laughs> okay, but they're all planted and now uh, give me some beans. There are still very annoying to harvest because I have to walk all the way around. Boohoo, little old me. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought I only got 22 total. Okay, so how much do I get for 48 green beans? We're about to find out. Well, <laughs> I mean, it was less work than the fishing, I suppose. It's definitely more passive. And next time we'll have a little bit more from the new plants, so maybe everything will be okay. I'm not sure if that's hopeful or just plain old denial. So as you can see from our finances despite a lot of work in the first two weeks we're um on a really bad track so far <laughs> i think i have to make some more tappers they are quite good for profit aren't they 
Oh, well, you know what? There's some ready to harvest here. Why don't we just check? I have plenty of time. That's one thing I have on my hands is time. So I don't mind just sleeping a day away. In fact, that sounds good right about now. 200, but I guess over time that adds up, right? It's really hard to balance your materials because I don't have infinite copper. I can't just make loads of them. I need to find something that's a good recurring source of money. Hmm, I've been thinking for minutes now and I haven't thought of anything. I'm collecting sand. Salmon berries though, so I've got that going for me, which is nice. Oh great meteor, bless my brain with an idea. I need a lot more money if capitalism is to win in this town. Oh hey John, sorry I forgot I left you in here. <gasps> is that a sprinkler? Oh my god, a sprinkler <laughs> hidden behind the tree. I can't believe I even spotted that, to be honest. If it wasn't for John, I may not have. You're getting upgraded to acquaintance. He was previously stalker with a restraining order in our little roleplay friendship we got going on here. That's why he was so far into the woods just stalking me. The big question is, can I even do anything with this? So I'll be able to go here. I can, yeah, I can put it there. It'll be really annoying, but I can put it there. Wait a second. We got B! Beans, boys and girls sorry when I say guys boys or lads I just mean all of you okay okay so I can't get one like right in there but that's not bad considering what I'm working with but how often do these grow then because I thought it was every 10 days but maybe it's just 10 days the first time and then less afterwards thank god I found that sprinkler if it wasn't for John which I'm gonna level with you. Not even sure if that's his name. I've kind of forgotten. And to be fair, he's a side character. So how can I be expected to remember? Although he is kind of the only other character because no one else is on the farm with me. But if I didn't find that sprinkler, I wouldn't have come back to plant more beans and I wouldn't have seen what's bean waiting for me. I just realized that bean is gone forever. I can't get to it. Maybe my placement wasn't as good as I thought. I hate when I have to use my brain. Haha, <laughs> mushrooms. Always have room for a mushroom. There we go. Go, John. Embrace your inner stalker. You can watch me sleep now. He can also double up as a dream catcher and keep those nightmares away. They mostly involve him anyway. So I guess I should keep these and I should plant them next spring because at least I can use those throughout spring. It'll be a lot of watering, but it'll be good. I can imagine the amount of people that must have been screaming at their screens about beans because imagine if I just never checked up on them. I could have spent the whole year coming in once every 10 days to check on these things. Okay, so it's not one day. Instead of looking it up on the wiki, I'm taking the long route and just sleeping until they're ready. Definitely gonna have to clear some of this forest too. It's getting very overgrown. Okay, so it's three sleeps <laughs> until they're grown. These are the most annoying crops I have ever dealt with though. It's like, I'm happy that we're gonna get a lot more income from them, but I'm also a little bit pissed off that it means I'm gonna be having to harvest them more because I gotta go all the way around. Oh, fantastic. I can ruin the village even more with oil. <laughs> a keg though? That's pretty interesting. I could become an alcoholic. A oh, feckin' iron. I don't want to go feckin' fishing anymore. I have a feeling like they'd be very profitable though. That's so annoying. Good news everyone. It's time for summer fun. Now we can do activities such as staying on the farm and staying on the farm. But now I get oranges too. So that's that's great. I'm gonna put those in there. Preserving jars. Let them turn into um, jam, I think it is. I, I don't know what it turns into, to be honest. Liquid gold is what I call it. So I've been trying to make as much money as I can. This is what I've got. I'm gonna sell it all in one go now and see how much we get. This should be a big payday. Perhaps our biggest of the year. I gotta stop getting my hopes up because I keep thinking I'm gonna get a big payday and then I get nothing. Anyway, it's 10 to 8 in the morning. I'm exhausted. I'm off to bed. Yes, it is. To be honest, a lot of that came from the mushrooms. The mushrooms continue to pay out. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're up to 32 thousand after spring. I'm such a good farmer. I almost forgot what season it was. I've got a bit of a better system for harvesting these now. It's still kind of slow, but I just go around the perimeters and then through the aisles. It's not that good. I, I keep missing them. <laughs> it seems no matter what I do, I just can't really perfect this. In fact, I, I think I just perfect it up. Okay, luckily these things should aid me quite a lot. So with a combination of mushrooms, liquid gold, and beans, we should be good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to pick the rainy day to cut all of the grass on the farm in an attempt to get mixed seeds. This might be one of my best plans yet. Okay, am I doing something wrong? Because I did this whole side and I'm getting feck all. <laughs> 
Oh god, I think a tree just fell. Oh, now I'm gonna have to clean it up. Ah, who am I kidding? This whole place is a state. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about all these trees. I might just have to knock a load of them and put down some of these uh, wooden floorboards that are just blocking growth. I guess it, they do sell relatively well. Like, not amazing, but okay. I think that's another tree falling down. Maybe this is God on my side. He's knocking them down one by one. Wait, a success noise. Yes, I don't hear many of those. I got some good bean money, but nothing really of note. Ah, I got an achievement. Monoculture. What's that for? Ship 300 of one crop. Okay. Oh, look at this though. We got our orange jelly ready. We got more oranges to go in. Some pine tar, some mushrooms. This is going to be a big day. But you know what? I think I will clear out some of these trees, both for my own sanity of trying to get anywhere. And also it'll get me a little bit bit of cash. Not too much, but a bit. We'll dress up the place. It'll look nice. And you know what's great about video editing? You don't even have to see it being done. I'll just jump cut. You know what? No. I've changed my mind. You have to watch too. Like, it's much faster, but you still have to watch. And you're not allowed to click off either. In fact, click on other things while you wait. Click on the like. Click on the subscribe button. That one's a fun one. All right, you know what? I'll skip. I just unlocked the seed maker. If you don't know what the seed maker does, you can place crops inside to produce a varying amount of seeds. And you might be saying, but you have enough green beans, you silly Irish man. <laughs> well, I've been hiding this star fruit away. But unfortunately, it does mean we do have to find <laughs> that one gold ore somehow. Ha, huh, well, it's not lying over here miraculously. Damn it, <laughs> I was hoping that would work. Unfortunately, I don't really have as much wood to sell as I, I would like to sell because I had to use it to make all of these damn paths. But oh well, I didn't bundle them up. I'm just throwing some in loose for poor old Lewis. He's gonna have to drag them all to the store. Honestly, I think he's skimming off the top anyway and making a hell of a lot of money doing this. Oh, please be gold, please be gold. Come on, ah, where are me lucky charms? I made a little path system in around the farm as well just to make it a bit easier to navigate. I know it's a little bit of an eyesore here but we'll work it out in time. Okay I searched the entire farm and there there's nothing. I have a bad feeling this is going to end up with me fishing a lot. <laughs> Whew, I'm up to 45,000 though. This is going good-ish I think. I don't want to be too positive and jinx it. Well looks like I'm going fishing again. <laughs> See you in an hour. Okay, luckily it didn't take an hour. It only took 47 minutes. But once again, I did get some cool stuff. And the thing is, gold ore is apparently really common as treasure. And then I got loads of stuff like this anchor, which is very uncommon. But I'm not complaining because I'm pretty sure Gunther... Oh my god, that doll looks like Jim Pickens. But Gunther, I'm sure, gives you some pretty good stuff for rewards. So I'm okay with giving him some of my trash. It's like that good old saying, one man's trash can be bought by an idiot and that idiot is Gunther. Sell that diamond because I have two, one for Gunther, one for me. Oh god, I never want to fish ever again. <laughs> I reached level nine fishing as well. I think it's the furthest by far I've ever gotten with fishing. Very careful. I don't want to sell that. Be very, very careful. And now I will- oh my god, the beans! <laughs> I've forgotten about the beans entirely with my fishing quest. I hate those two that are just stuck taunting me. <laughs> okay, a seed maker, finally! It's mine! Once again, you kind of forget about the goal when the task is so boring. <laughs> now, we simply take the star fruit and we dump it into the seed maker. Yes, now we wait. <laughs> Just staring at it until it's done. I hope it doesn't get performance anxiety. Aha! One. All right then. Well, since I have to destroy one of these to plant this, I think I'll destroy one of these so I can access the other one by walking on the star fruit. So that'll be ready in <clears throat> 13 days. <clears throat> we can try again. The other thing we can do in the meantime is we can throw in some green beans because they're not worth a whole lot and there's a 2% chance we will get an ancient seed. And we have 115 <laughs> to put in there of the lower quality ones. So this should be doable. There it is. The ancient seed. <laughs> it didn't actually even take that long. I still have 101. That wasn't bad at all. I'm tempted to keep going, but you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna tempt fate at this point. Why am I going to sell it? What am I doing? Okay, this is gonna make us rich. 
This little thing right here. And I've got the perfect spot for it right in there. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. Gonna make me a millionaire. <laughs> All right, maybe I'm getting a bit carried away. I just can't believe that one of my, my plots is actually working <laughs> by the looks of it. Since I'm probably not gonna use these green beans, I should probably find out how much you get from just selling the damn things. The music has stopped and it's it's actually really, really freaking me out. I'm running. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. I gotta get this saved. I don't want to tempt fate. I don't want to tempt it at all. All right, sleep, save, 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 save. 30 for my green beans. That's not much. Oh my God, I just looked it up on the wiki and it takes 28 days to grow that ancient seed. So I will be rich eventually, but not today and not tomorrow. Well, I'm going to bed. And the one thing I know is I'm not going to get rich fishing. <laughs> I have to do it another way. Okay, I've just been embracing capitalism, making a lot of money. Gotta love those green beans. <laughs> but today is the day, not the ancient fruit. That's still only like halfway. <laughs> but the summer fruit is ready. Okay, this is a silver one. Make two this time. Oh god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Boom. Three! Oh my god, you are a star yourself, aren't you? No wonder you can make three star fruit. The star fruit doesn't fall far from the star. I, I don't know. Okay, just doing this one little harvest. There we go. It's actually perfect now. But we need two more plots. And since I'm not going to be watering them, that means I can destroy this one. Boom. Friendship with green beans is over. I'm friends with star fruit now. Boom. Just feck and crush them. There we go. We're on the 8th of autumn and the money is just flooding in. I've also got this uh, mushroom tree, which I'm not really sure what to do with it, to be honest. I think I can just like chop it down. I can shake it a little bit. That's that's neat. But I think I want to leave it there for when I eventually clean this place up and then I can, you know, have it kind of stand out. It'll look neat, I think. So I think you can actually use uh, common mushrooms in the seed maker as well. And I I've been meaning to try it. And since, you know, money isn't as pressing as it once was, it's depressing, but not as pressing. Let's give it a go. Oh, fall seeds. Okay, I guess that's neat. That's one way of doing it. That's not bad, you know? I was just saying that to be polite. I'm actually gonna sell it. You just wait till the ancient seed is done because I have got a surprise for you. Look at this. Beans have brought us to level 10 farming. I don't think this is gonna be much help for me. I don't really mind if they grow faster or not. 10% isn't much. I think I'm gonna go with artisan because I do have some artisan goods and maybe we can make the ancient seeds into artisan goods. Anyway, I'm gonna click this now without any research. <gasps> Is the ancient seed after growing? No, it's not. Maybe tomorrow. I wish I could repurpose this cave into my home. And to be fair, it would kind of suit Hermit's vibe. I could picture him living here. You know, just maybe a sofa bed and that'll do him. I am wondering if I could move my house. That, that would be helpful, I guess. Even though I'm hoping after this year, money won't be an issue if my plan works. And that's a big if. I've got a new item in stock. It's called the auto grabber. This thing can milk your cows and goats, shear your sheep, gather eggs and pluck your woolly rabbits all on its own. 25 grand. Oh, but I really want one. Like, I know I don't have animals yet. Oh, wait, it's Marnie selling them. That fecker. <laughs> she wasn't open the last time I went. Like, I go into town once a year and she couldn't just come to the counter. She was even in her house. I should probably sell all my stuff today. I've been gathering them for quite some time. Like, we're nearly through August already. We kind of skipped fall. Well, you kind of skipped fall. I've been here the entire time. Oh, star fruit have done though. At least there's that. So now I'm going to put this in here and hope for the best. Yes, three from that one. Awesome. One. Oh, why do bad things happen to good people? Honestly, <laughs> life isn't fair. Yes, three. Awesome. <laughs> I took the negative one to heart, I think. <laughs> Gonna continue getting rid of the awkward beans for these. Just getting rid of the ones that are like roadblocks and this will actually help a lot just with my sanity more than anything else so i think at the end of the year i'll sell as many of those summer fruits what are they called star fruits i don't know Th those liquid gold <laughs> well i guess they're more solid solid gold just oh i wish i had gold i made myself sad but we'll sell those and we'll get a proper ancient seed farm going and i know what you're thinking 28 days what the hell this too that's too much to wait for ancient seeds but not to worry because these may have taken 28 days. Oh, it's a gold one too. Anyway, I'm going to smash it into seeds. But as you can see here, it may take 28 days, but they regrow in seven days. That is right. This is a crop that just keeps on giving. And of course they grow the ancient fruit, which hold on. Hold on. My internet's a bit slow. Hold on. 
be patient, okay? I'll, I'll try clicking again. Hold on. Uh, they sell for 550. Actually, no, I have this thing. 605. Or we could make it into jam and get 1610. Oh, yeah. We can make wine out of it. We're gonna need some kegs. <laughs> yeah, three times the fruit base price. Okay, we need to make a lot of those. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Come on, three. Give me three. I did some really nice stuff today. Like, um... Oh god, I can't think of anything. Yes! Who cares about good karma? I just get good luck. You see how this could quickly become really profitable. I nearly just started destroying beans and then I realized there's beans actually on this. I hope I didn't do it earlier. Ah, well, who cares? No longer friends with beans. I don't care about beans. Never liked beans. You know, I like something wise and old. I'm talking about ancient seas, by the way, not like, like I don't want some old person to show up on the farm. Okay, I guess I should plant these where they're gonna permanently be planted, right? So I guess I'll stick to the left for now. I even know that. Oh, <laughs> it's not ideal, but you know what? Yeah, it'll do. They're going to stay here forever. Or, you know, until I just make more seeds and then I can move them. It's not as permanent as I was thinking in my head, I suppose. I'm curious what we'll get now that we have the artisan thing because I have some jam ready to sell. I'm very curious. I'm so glad I picked that artisan boost now, though, with our new plan. All these beans, too. Oh my god, I have so much to sell. I think this is going to be our biggest night. I think we are going to get at least 18,000 here. Oh my god, that sound means I was right. Oh my god, they actually did it. I'm never right with those things. Whoa, that's a lot for jelly. You know what I think is most important, actually, this year when I leave the farm? I think it's just ores. I need a lot of ores. And I don't know whether to try and buy them or go into the mines. Like, I have my new weapon, but still, I don't have a great pickaxe. I have the very basic pickaxe because I can't really upgrade my tools. Unless I try and save a lot of food now, I could just bring a load of beans, I suppose. Let's start preparing my box of stuff. Yeah, I could bring 127 beans with me. I mean, what the hell? No, you know what? I might sell a few of those. I'll bring 90. That should fill my tummy. Uh, we've all that stuff to bring to Gunther. We have the geodes. Fantastic. I might bring wood and stones with me. I should look to see if I want to upgrade any buildings, although I'm not really using my buildings for anything. So I guess there's not much point in upgrading them yet. I should probably take a little stroll around the farm. <laughs> I've not looked around in quite some time, so it might be a good idea. Can I make bombs? I know that's not a good look for a guy living alone out on the back ass of nowhere, but I would like to clear these trees at some point. Ooh, I should make deluxe speed grow. That would take like, what, seven days off the growth of the ancient seeds. So I need corals and oak resin. I've sold corals along the way too. I need oak resin for the keg as well. I'm sure I just sold loads of it, didn't I? God damn it. Sorry for all of those of you that were probably screaming at your screen. But if it makes you feel any better, like the video. I don't know why I would, but hey, I would like it. So that would be awesome. Thank you. And also if you're new, subscribe. That'll make me super happy. I'll go to bed with a big grin on my face. And I mean, you don't want to miss out on the next one, do you? How could you live with yourself if you did? <laughs> I like how normal YouTubers just say at the start, hey, like and subscribe, and I kind of gaslight you into doing it. Oh, what's this gonna be? Notice a chill in the air. It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of a dark specter here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, the Spirit's Eve. Or it could be the harsh effects of climate change due to the giant corporation that I am funding in the town. I wonder, can I take the tapper down from the tree? The tapper can be removed from a tree by hitting it once with an axe or pickaxe. Excellent. Now, what does an oak tree look like? And yes, I have been farming for four years. Okay, it's this one. The egg tree, I've been calling it. Okay, so I need you and I need you. And to be honest, I'll probably knock that tree, even though these ones are the most annoying ones. And they're my fruit trees, so they're staying. You go on there and you go on there. Oh, you're gonna make me a millionaire. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking a lot about money for a quaint game about farming. Okay, so it's the last day of autumn. Unfortunately, I won't get any resin from these oak trees, but they're on the right trees for next time. You know, I'm doing future Kevin a solid. I am really nice. Past Kevin gets a bad rap. Ah, and winter's here, which makes my view look like this. Just death. Aha, more ancient fruit. Here we go. Come on, tree, tree, tree. Mixed. Seeds. You know what? I'm not even dignifying that by making it canon. I'm gonna reload. 
There we go, three. That's more like it. I was even going to accept it if it was just one. <laughs> I just couldn't take mixed seeds after all that hard work. We got beans. They're multiplying. <laughs> I think this is just like a greenhouse effect that it's having on me. I hate this route. I've done it so many times. Oh, look at that. 6 a.m. Better get to bed. Wait a second. It actually did get it. Wait, that's maple syrup. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> oh, no, I put him on the wrong trees. I should have known. Like, I planted these ones. Ooh, the star fruit are ready though. I can still get a harvest of them and I think I will actually. I'll try and get as many seeds as I can and then I'll just sell the whole lot next time. Okay, here we go. Get me some good amount of star fruit. Is that what they're called? Star fruit, yeah. I'm so passionate about star fruit. No, no, money. Money is what I meant to say. Three, okay, off to a fantastic start. I got 12. You know what? I'll sell the one gold one I have here just out of curiosity of how much it gets. Oh yes, that'll do nicely. <laughs> That'll do very nicely. And in total, an extra almost 14 grand. Oh, the final big bean harvest has come. Got some ancient fruit here as well. Let's get some of these replaced with star fruit, though. It's a little bit emotional destroying them, isn't it? To see them go. By emotional, I mean happy. Like, I'm glad I don't have to do this anymore. I know for you it's probably sentimental, but for me it's a lot of work. Oh, great seed maker. Bless me with your seed. <laughs> the hell is that noise? <laughs> yes, three! You see, just worship something and it'll do really nice things for you. Wait, what did I do here? What? Oh, yeah, I didn't need to destroy all those beans. I already had spots and I... You know what? I'll just walk out and we'll never speak of this again. And that goes for you too. Like everyone else is just saying, wow, what a greatly optimized greenhouse throughout the entirety of the video. So you'd look like a fool if you said anything else. Okay, four days to go in the year and we have got our star fruit. I think I'm going to sell all but one of these. I'm going to keep one just as insurance if I need it for some reason. We got some ancient fruit ready to go. So let's pop those in the seed maker. I think I should rename it the money maker. Okay, go make me money. And how much did we get? Eight. Nice. We can put our star fruit in here as well as some of the other stuff I've been collecting. And then we'll go plant our ancient seeds and I think get our last big payday of the year. Or right, you know what? If I start planting these now, I'm going to have to take up green beans and I'm going to have to make a mess. So maybe I should just hold on to them for now and redo the entire thing next year. I'll just put them aside. I've got eight to go. This is so good. Oh, that's a big payout. 23,000. Oh, look at that. 147,000. Almost there. I honestly think I could get there from mushrooms alone. Oh, I'm so close. I can taste it. I wonder, will I have beans to sell? That would definitely get me over the line. I do have beans. Well, it's been a pleasure, but this is the last run I'm doing of these beans. Thank God. Oh, we got some ancient fruit as well. Let's toss that in the seed maker. And then I think we can sleep until the new year. There we go, 10 seeds. Now let's sell the rest of this stuff and get my inventory ready. Okay, I have everything for Gunther. I have my weapon, my my axe, and my pickaxe in case I need them. All the geodes. I, I think I'm good. Sleepy time. I just got to make sure not to go on a Monday or a Tuesday or Marnie will be closed. Yes, look at that. Over the 150 mark. I'm not even going to go outside today. <laughs> I don't need to earn money. I'm just going to sleep my life away. Ah, here it is. Spring oh, wait, no, it's, uh, it's Monday. Hold on. I'm gonna, I want to sleep, you know, and I want to sleep till Thursday because I think Pierre <laughs> closes on Wednesday, doesn't he? Okay, it is a lovely day to walk into town. <laughs> Hermit just approaching town from the farm with his trident in hand. Okay, so here is our shopping list. Okay, so I want to invest in that huge corporation, so a good chunk of money will go to that. I'm gonna get some chickens as well as the auto grabber so I don't have to care for said chickens. I want to get a kitchen. I want to get a workbench from Robin too, and that's the person Robin. I'm not going out robbing a workbench. I want some treasure tackles from Willy. I want a backpack from Pierre to expand this bloody inventory I have. And then I want as much copper, iron, and gold as I can get. So first things first, the shops aren't open. I'm gonna run to the mines and try and get down like five levels and get some copper as I do it. Come here, slimes. I have my trident. Oh my god. I can just nuke them. Oh, this weapon is OP for where I am. I'm really hoping I could find an earth crystal. That would be amazing. <gasps> okay, I swear I didn't know it was there. 
<laughs> I swear that was random chance. That was just really good timing. But that'll allow me to make a mayonnaise machine for uh, the eggs from our new chickens that we'll be getting. Oh no, monsters are coming. Dude, I just want to get down in the mine. Don't waste my time, all right? Time is valuable, says the guy who sleeps like all the time. <laughs> just wasting days away. Okay, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I really want to find this ladder because I want to get out of here. I don't want to waste too much time down here. I can't find it and I'm too far in now to just abandon the search. Come on, where are you? <laughs> so much time is passing. Come on. There we go. Okay, get me out of this stupid mine. Okay, I'll stop by at Robin since I'm passing her anyway. I'll try and optimize this route as much as I can. Upgrade that house. Get me a kitchen. Get me that workbench. Oh god, my inventory's full. Take the fiber. <laughs> Give me the workbench. I'm not even gonna speak to him. I'm just grabbing the bag, throwing the money on the counter and leaving. It's 10,000 gold. It's just loose change. I just throw down and leave. But I got the backpack, which means my inventory's expanded and hopefully I can process those geodes without it getting too messy. Okay, give me that auto grabber. She's like, you don't even have animals. What do you want about? Okay, give me a chicken. We'll name it Nugget. Name this one Tenders. I named this one Shit just because <laughs> then Marnie says, great, I'll send all the shit to her new home right away. And finally, great, I'll send little Marnie Socks to her new home right away. Oh, any quests while I'm here? 100 pieces of bone. Oh, sounds important. Yeah, I'll totally help you. <laughs> He'll just never hear from me again. The hell is this? What? I, I don't know what that is. It's scaring me. I'm giving him the Jim Pickens doll. Come on. Look at all these goodies. I'm giving you. You better give me something good for all of this. I, I, teddy bear. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, copper. You know what? Some is okay. That's fine. I'll take a little bit of copper. No, I said a little bit. I don't need any more. Thank you very much. You know what? No, no stones. I don't need stones. Okay, enough with the stones, please. You know what? Copper isn't too bad after all. I'll, I'll take it. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just accepting it now. Just stop with the stones. God, those were just awful. Thanks for nothing, Clint. Uh, while I'm here, though, I want to spend an extortionate amount of money on your stupid ores. God, this money gets wasted fast, doesn't it? I'll take a load of copper as well, because don't I need them for, like, tappers and stuff? And it is relatively cheap, all things considered, like, compared to his other prices. <laughs> okay, I'm running out of time, but I think I'm okay. Take these stupid things. Just... Oh, the reward! It better be good! Come on, this is gonna be the good one. This is it. Pumpkin seeds. All right, whatever. Whatever, dude. It's fine. You know, with prices like that, no wonder this corporation is thriving. Repair that broken bridge in town, young man. I think they actually have enough money to buy a bit more ore. As much as I don't want to enable this guy in his horrible business practice. But to be fair, this is the only way I can kind of get ores for now. This has been a crazy day of shopping. They must be so confused why Mr. Moneybags only comes in once a year, showers them with gold, and is not seen again until the next year. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't be fishing anymore, but it's not too bad when you're getting loads of treasure from it, because you get like a lot of serotonins and such. I'm also going to treat Hermit with a little fish tank, just because I think he deserves it. There we go. Okay, we're done here. See you next year, Willie, or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I have a use for you anymore. I don't know why I'm holding on to this diamond. I know I had two in that box for a reason, but I don't know. Was it just to sell or what? No, no, it, it's fine. Oh, I was just gonna buy another tree from him, but as soon as five o'clock hits, he's like, well, maybe you should plan your once a year trip a little better. <laughs> it just walks out. Okay, my inventory is completely full. I can get rid of a few things, like the clay, for example, and... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I guess I could get rid of some of these gems, but I guess I should explore the mine in the little time I have left. If Robin looks at the window like, Honey, that hermit guy is just sitting outside the door eating beans. Hello. <laughs> Need a new sword? No, you gave me a trashy sword. I honestly don't know why they're running the Adventurers Guild. It should clearly be me. Although, I don't want to deal with people, so maybe that wouldn't work. No, get out of my way. I'm just here <laughs> to get levels. Levels and ores. That's all I want. Double kill. <laughs> this thing is so overpowered. Treasure! What do I get? I don't care about that. You can keep your damn treasure. <gasps> Another mayonnaise machine! By that I mean earth crystal. Just down in the cave, eating beans. I'm really hoping I can get one more level. One more level and I'll be down to 25, which would be a huge improvement. Yes! 25. Okay, great. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not gonna push my lock. I'm done. I feel like I've already pushed my lock a little bit. It's midnight. Oh my god, the house is so cramped. Okay, sleep. 
Wow, what a day in town. And look at that. They're even repairing the bridge for me in the dead of night for some reason. But look at all those ores over there. That's going to help me loads next year, of course. I'm so glad she's here to expand the house, even if she's a very slow worker. Because look how crowded this place is getting. I'm not sure where I can even put my stuff. Everything's blocking everything else. We can put down our little workbench. That is really cool. Look at that. We can make mayonnaise machines right away. We'll have to work up to the kegs. Luckily, the oak resin shouldn't be too hard to get once I can figure out how to identify trees. Oh, look at the little chickens. That's great. Oh, no, I have to feed them, don't I? Well, here's an auto grabber, folks. You just, um... Lay your eggs and make me money. That's all you have to do. Wait, those can stack? Oh, for God's sake. Why can't the other ones stack then? I could have bought more stuff from Pierre. Gotta say, though, look at all that. That is nice to see. Lots of materials. I can actually make stuff. I'm just gonna have to be careful how I use it. But I think we've done well here. I gotta thank all of you in the comments who helped last time. Feel free to drop any tips there, too, for the next year. We got plenty of ancient fruit here. Let's figure out how many seeds we can get from this. More ancient seeds. Oh, we we are going to be rich. 16 of them. Bring us to a total of 26 for next year. Not to mention the ones we've planted. We're going to be so wealthy. <laughs> We're going to destroy this village with wealth. But for now, I think I'll leave it there. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. These take a lot of time, so I'd appreciate it. And I do hope to see you next time. Bye for now.